Hey everybody, Dr. Axe here. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, today I'm gonna to be talking about how to heal your hormones, your metabolism, and your energy using food as medicine, specifically certain types of fat. I think this video is gonna blow your mind. So, so excited to share with you. In fact, one of the things I've done in this video as well is I have pulled things from my own pantry, including the oils I use to cook with, the salad dressings I use. I'm gonna talk about a specific herbal tea that's also great for your gut and healing leaky gut and bloating, which is also important for hormones and metabolism. This is by Gaia Herbs here. I'm gonna show you this product, this herbal tea here in just a second, and a few other tea brands. So I'm gonna dive in in a second, but before I do, hey, I wanna give you a shout out uh, here on Facebook Live. Also, let me know um, where you're from, the city you're from, the state you're from, the country you're from. I wanna give you a shout out right now on Facebook Live. Also, hey, help be on mission with me teaching the world how to use food as medicine. Take a minute right now, punch that share button, click that love button. Thanks everybody for being on mission with me right now. All right, so I'm gonna uh, continue going here. Okay, we've got Clodina watching from Oslo. Now I love it when we got people watching from all the way across the world, areas in Europe and everywhere else. Uh, uh, Tamar Foot is watching from Nova Scotia, Canada. Hey, Tamar, thanks for joining me today. Cheryl Camp in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Rob is in Gilbert, Arizona. Hey, Rob, thanks for joining me here today. Dana Ann is watching from Little Rock, Arkansas. Susie is watching from Florida, actually from Florida, but she's in Brooklyn now. Lori in Hobart, Indiana. All right, people from everywhere, Nancy in Colorado, Michelle watching in Oregon, Rosie Fraga in Santa Barbara, California. I think the weather there is probably beautiful. Uh, I mean, people all over, lots of Canadians joining me, and Laura from Columbus, Ohio, OH. If you wanna finish that, there's a big game coming up Saturday. I grew up in Dayton, in Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, so I'm a Buckeye fan. All right. So let's talk about how to heal your body using food as medicine, specifically the right type of fats, oil. I'm gonna talk about some herbs and supplements here as well. All right, so for starters here, here's what you need to know. Energy can be created typically from fats, carbs, or proteins, right? Your body's gonna break down these nutrients, use them for energy. Now the problem we have today, why so many people have low energy and imbalanced hormones, is our body is constantly in our organ system of our pancreas is constantly being, uh, being overwhelmed with carbohydrates. So really the key here is, and so listen, as most people today consume around 60% carbohydrates in their diet. That's way too much. It's probably 30% too many carbohydrates. You wanna get that down to closer to 40%. That's one of the biggest keys that you can have in boosting your energy, balancing hormones, metabolism, because here's the thing, think about this. Different organs have to deal with different ma macronutrients. Your pancreas deals with carbohydrates. Your liver and gallbladder deal with fat. Your kidneys and your stomach deal, specifically your stomach mostly, and also your kidneys a little bit, deal with proteins and amino acids. So if you're eating too much of one, you're gonna overtax the system. So think about this. If you eat too many carbohydrates, which most of us do, we are overtaxing our pancreas, which our pancreas deals with insulin, and insulin is a hormone. So a lot of times people, when they think of insulin, they automatically think of diabetes. Listen, insulin, yes, it's related to diabetes, but insulin is also related to infertility, to polycystic ovary syndrome, to low testosterone in men, it's related to so many hormonal-based conditions, which then affects your thyroid, which then affects your adrenal glands, which then affects your hormones and your metabolism, how well you burn fat. Hormones like leptin and ghrelin would tell you how hungry you are and signal your body you gotta burn fat. So here's a big takeaway you gotta know. You've gotta start getting rid of the excess carbs. Now, if you're gonna consume carbs, here's the best. Berries, number one and then things like butternut squash. So this is the time of year, right? Great time of year. Butternut squash, acorn squash, pumpkin. Those are great. Even yams, sweet potatoes in small amounts can be okay. But again, really berries and the squashes, those are gonna be the best sort of carbohydrates. Beets, carrots, those are great carbohydrates. For you to get, of course, vegetables, number one, any type of vegetable. But again, you gotta really focus on those. 
but you got to get rid of the excess carbs and you got to do fat, okay? The number one fat for energy, okay, if you want to boost your energy is going to be MCTs. If you heard of MCT oil, that stands for medium chain triglyceride. It's the easiest fat for your body to burn as energy. I'm going to show you some things out of my pantry. Number one here, of course, you know, it's coconut oil, right? Virgin coconut oil. This is what I use. This is what we use in the Axe household. Now, coconut oil is great for your body to burn for fuel. It's one of the healthiest fats you could consume. It's what I recommend, okay? So fat for fuel is what you wanna use for energy, for hormones, for all these things. Now here's another thing I use is coconut milk, okay? Now I love the coconut milk from the can. You can see this is a BPA-free liner, it's certified organic. I picked this up at Whole Foods Market, or you can pick it up at a local health food store. But coconut milk, great thing to put in your smoothies. You know, when I make pumpkin pie here, Guess what I use is my milk right here in recipes, this exact one, coconut milk. I pulled this from my pantry minutes ago. And so again, coconut, the best type of fat for energy. Now after coconut, other MCTs are gonna be found in certified sustainable palm oil. Now you gotta be careful with palm oil. Some of it's not good for the environment, what they do, but if it's certified sustainable, then you're okay, okay? But coconut oil is number one. Palm oils can be great too uh, there as well. And I wanna show you some other fats you wanna be getting in your diet. Before I do that though, I wanna uh, ask you to do me a favor. You know how many people are over consuming carbohydrates? You know, I had a patient going recently to their doctor, they had a heart condition, and their doctor said, I want you to go on a high carbohydrate, low fat diet. This patient's cholesterol got worse, blood pressure got worse, triglycerides got worse, got sicker than ever, started getting diabetes, and I said, this is a family friend of ours, and I said, Dan, what I need you to do is I need you to go on this thing called a keto diet. This is what I told him to do. I said, the only carbs I want you to eat are berries and beets and carrots. And then I had him go really high fat, okay? I had him do lots of fats, some wild salmon, you know, all the fats I'm gonna talk about on the show here. Within three months, he was able to get off all of his medications. He was able to get off a statin drug, a blood pressure drug. I mean, I, my mind was blown when he was able to do all these things. Now, I didn't tell him to get off the drugs. He worked with his doctor. His doctor said, your numbers are dropping so drastically. I'm able to lower those. But it was amazing when he started using these healthy fats, what can happen? Because there's a misconception that heart disease is caused by cholesterol. It's caused by inflammation. If you want to reduce inflammation, you do that by consuming certain herbs, spices, vegetables, berries, and fats. That's how you heal heart disease, actually. So again, you gotta get these healthy fats, but help me spread the word that food is medicine. Take a minute right now, punch the share button, click the love button. Thanks everybody, see everybody uh, who is clicking lots of the love there. Thanks everybody for doing that as well. Laura says she's allergic to coconut, what can she do? Again, palm oil is a great replacement. And then here's another one. This is a medium chain fat that's also great and it's ghee, okay? Now you can see this ghee I have here, it's grass fed. Oops. Grass-fed ghee from a company called Forth and Hearth. This is what I actually specifically recommend that you use here. Um, this is great for cooking. It's a great short-chain fatty acid. So this is what I would use instead for medium chain. And, and dairy in general has these healthy, ha has short-chain fats. Uh, it's a type of saturated fat that's good for you. So ghee, grass-fed butter is another great option. Um, that I recommend as well there. And then other types of fermented dairy, like goat's milk, yogurt, raw sheep cheeses, like Manchego is great. So getting more of these is fantastic. All right, let me share with you a few other categories and then I wanna show you like the salad dressings we use and all the other things. So we talked about saturated fats, okay? So the healthy saturated fats are coconut, certified sustainable palm oil, and ghee and grass-fed butter. Okay, right there. Those are the ones you want to have. That's going to help with hormones and everything else we just talked about. Now, the next thing here are monounsaturated fats, okay? Here we go. My favorite cooking oil is, drum because by the way, most of these oils oxidize when you heat them. Here's the best oil to heat up if you're going to fry something up. Avocado oil, okay? Avocado oil is the best, okay? So this is specifically what I use here as well. So avocado oil. Avocado oil has what you call a high heat threshold. So you can heat it up pretty high and it's not gonna change. That's one of the problems with another favorite oil of mine that I use all the time. This is one that we got, you can see we have the harvest date on here. Um, this is from a South African oil. This is a extra virgin 
olive oil you can see right there okay and I always look for things like the harvest date and um, you know and, and where it was harvested the whole thing because there's actually a lot of fake olive oil out there it's crazy but it's true so avocado oil for cooking olive oil for salads okay so these are the oils you want these are gonna help your hormones they're gonna help your energy they're gonna help uh, your metabolism so these are some important things I'm gonna jump into some other fats and oils though, but hey, if you're also wondering, hey, where, where can I get a resource for where I can find out the best oils and fats and I can cook with these things, I wanna share, I just came out, I'm super stoked about this, I wanna show you guys this. I just came out with a new book, it's called Keto Diet Cookbook, okay? It is released here in like two days, just in two days, it's released. So Keto Diet Cookbook, 125 keto recipes, healthy fats, great for energy, we have all these guides, you see I list off in here where to get your MCT oil, where to get your avocado oil. These recipes are absolutely awesome. I'm gonna show you here, we've got like these, oh check these out, these are so good. We've got these collagen boosting blueberry muffins. So these are all high in collagen. Uh, a lot of these recipes as well. We've got so many great things here in this book. My secret recipe, which we have friends, Chelsea and I have friends over at our house. We do big food nights with some close friends of ours. This is one that every time I make it, they're like, can I have that recipe? So I'm serious you, this is the Axe family recipe for coconut chicken tenders. You can see here a recipe of the picture we took of these. So fantastic and good. So if you want the ultimate cookbook, on how to eat to heal your hormones, your gut health, balance your energy, your metabolism. Check this out. It's gonna be found in bookstores nationwide in a few days, but right now you can go and order it on amazon.com, barnesandnoble.com, or run out to your local bookstore this weekend, but it's Keto Diet Cookbook. Make sure to check it out. All right, let's keep going here with this content. So we talked about the saturated fats from coconut, right? We talked about things like ghee, Okay, here's another thing that I recommend you go and get, and that's healthy, um, actually let me hit on this first. Okay, then I'll get to that. I'll get to my salad dressing and all the condiments and all that sort of stuff. Nuts and seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and walnuts. Walnuts are probably my favorite. Did you know in Chinese medicine there's a principle that says when you eat like a food that looks like an organ, it supports that organ? What does a walnut look like? A walnut actually looks like a hemisphere of your brain. Now listen, different people have different belief systems about everything in this world. I believe that God actually created certain foods, so just common sense without thinking we know what to eat to support certain organs. Carrots look like your eyes when you cut them in half. Beets are, are the color of your blood. We know in studies those support those organs. Flax seeds are amazing for supporting reproductive organs like ov ovaries. Uh, uterus, prostate health, so your reproductive organs. So flax seeds are amazing. So add a tablespoon of flax seeds every morning to a super food smoothie. So flax seeds, chia, and hemp. Hemp is amazing, hemp seeds. These are my favorite nuts and seeds. All right, we're gonna get into this here. <coughs> I wanna mention one other thing. I am actually, if you wanna not only get this book, but also, if you wanna get a bunch of free guides for what I'm talking about, I have a top 10 guide for the best healthy fats. I have a whole video series on how to heal using food as medicine. I put together, it's called the Dr. Axe Team. So you can become part of my, we call our uh, street team, or the Dr. Axe Mission Team. And on that mission team, I'm gonna give you a bunch of free resources. In fact, I do a whole kitchen series, a cooking series. If you wanna get this for free right now, uh, there's a link below. It's called the Dr. Axe Missions Team or Street Team. Look for that. Click the link below. If you'll simply get this book and go online and once you read it, leave a review, I'm going to send you a load of free videos of myself and uh, I have a dessert recipe guide. I have a uh, whole video series in my kitchen where I go through how to make a, a collagen boosting smoothie, how to make a keto morning breakfast, how to make... Uh, a healthy dessert, I go through all this. So if you wanna get that for free, my free video series, my free guides, my free shopping list, I go through this, this keto and this healthy fat shopping list, make sure right now, click on the link below and check out uh, and join the street team right now. 
Uh, okay, great. Here's my favorite salad dressing brand in the world. You ready? I'm telling you, once you try the salad dressing, you'll never go back. It is this brand here, Tessamase. Now this is found in every health food store in the country and Whole Foods Market and Sprouts Market. Okay, so Sprouts, if you got a Sprouts in your area, you can run out there and get it at Whole Foods. By the way, when you're in there, if you go in the supplement section, say Dr. Axe you know, told me to come in here and check out his keto supplements and his collagen stuff. So it's keto and collagen stuff. But this stuff is awesome. It's so good. Ingredients list. Now they use a type of sunflower oil that's actually healthier. It's a high oleic sunflower oil. Mustard seeds, egg yolks, poppy seeds, garlic, whole eggs, spices, black pepper, onion, all natural ingredients. So if you wanna lose weight, feel great, get in the best shape of your life, this is the salad dressing. Do you know almost every other salad dressing brand is highly toxic to your body? They're all full of hydrogenated oils that inflame your cells and cause major health problems. So again, and by the way, if there's not a link up, we'll post the link here in a second. Let me just tell them, uh, I'm gonna text my team now, please. Get link up for uh, doing video now. Isn't technology amazing um, that I can just tell my team that and they're gonna put up the link here in a second? So anyways, watch out. They're gonna post the street team link and the link to buy the book. So, but again, this salad dressing. By the way, have any of you guys tried this salad dressing, Tessamase? This is my favorite. This is their, it's everything bagel ranch. Amazing, we'll eat these with these coconut chicken tenders. We'll put this on salads, we'll eat it with celery around game days, like, hey, New Year's Eve coming up when we're watching college football playoffs or Super Bowl, having guests over, we'll have this. It is so fantastic. All right, here's another brand I love for salad dressing, but also just dressings. Mayonnaise, this is Primal Kitchen. Have you tried Primal Kitchen? This is their real avocado mayo. Really awesome. I think you guys are gonna love this mayonnaise. Um, this is what we use like if we're making chicken salad at home. Um, this is what we'll use. It's so good. Primal Kitchen Avocado Mayo. And you know what it's made with? Avocados and avocado oil. How amazing is that? It's food, it's medicine, right? <laughs> if you're using it the right way, food is medicine. So these are some things you wanna be doing. Now I wanna talk about some other things to boost your energy levels and support your metabolism. It's an ancient type of herb called Ayurvedic herbs and Chinese herbs that are in the category of something called adaptogens. By the way, if you're loving this live training video, do me a favor, punch the share button, click the love button, help me spread the word that food is medicine. By the way, I'd love to hear from you. What are your favorite healthy fats? What are your favorite healthy fats? What, what, and have you seen any results in your own life when you've eaten healthy fat or any of you guys done keto? I'd love to hear from you. Did any of you guys buy my book, Keto Diet? I'd love to hear from you uh, right now if you guys read it and what you thought. Let me talk about some other healthy fats, omega-3s. We all need to be getting omega-3s every day. Why? Because they reduce inflammation. You know almost every con disease today is related to inflammation. Heart disease, inflammation. Uh, diabetes is inflammation. Cancer is partly inflammation. A lot of the conditions today are inflammation. We have to reduce inflammation. Anything with an itis at the end means inflammation. Arthritis, inflammation of your joints. Colitis, inflammation of your colon. We've got to reduce inflammation. By the way, in my book, Keto Diet, and this keto, my new book, Keto Diet Cookbook, right here, you can check out. This is really what I call keto plant-based. There's some wild organic meat like grass-fed beef and wild-caught salmon but it's loaded with vegetables and, and berries and other, and, and other superfoods, which is what makes this the most powerful keto book on the planet, Keto Diet. Just come, comes out in two days. You can go to your local bookstore this weekend or buy it on Amazon or barnesandnoble.com. Barnesandnoble.com is a great place to buy this here as well. All right, so we've talked about omega-3s, by the way. Okay, now wild-caught salmon, right? Uh, black cod, halibut, sardines, tuna, Get those omega-3 fats, also walnuts, hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax, as many omega-3s as you can, okay? All right, uh, I mentioned this earlier. Since we're getting close to holidays, before I get into the adaptogens, I wanted to mention this. If you overeat, what should you do? Walk, go for a walk. I encourage you, do that a lot this weekend. Even if the weather isn't great, hey, throw on a hoodie, go outside, go for a quick, brisk 20-minute walk, 
And then have some herbal tea. This is a tea called, this is a gas and bloating tea. Now there's three brands I know that do this. Alveda Traditional Medicinals, which is probably my favorite. So listen, it's called Traditional Medicinals. It has an herbal tea. And then <laughs> Gaia Herbs here, it's a gas and bloating tea. If you overeat over Thanksgiving, okay, or Christmas, or over the holidays, you eat too much pie, too much, you know, food, how, what do you do, do about that? Well, one, you don't stress about it. That's the worst thing you can do. Relax, enjoy yourself, but move a little bit. Wake up Thanksgiving morning, even if it's just 20 minutes, do some weights, do some exercise, or at the very least, just go for a walk. I'm telling you, going for a nice brisk walk, doing some body weight squats, just for five, put on a timer, five minutes. These sort of things will get your metabolism in the place where it can handle more food and do a gas and bloating tea. Gas and bloating teas are gonna have things like this in it. Fennel, licorice root, chamomile. Uh, this one also has peppermint, ginger. So peppermint and ginger are great. Licorice, fennel, chamomile. And then at night, doing a little chamomile tea will help you sleep better at night. It's a great thing to do. But again, if you overeat, Go for a brisk walk, do some herbal tea, okay? Like a gas and blowing tea. You can pick this up at your local health food store. Every health food store, Whole Foods, Sprouts Market, every, every Kroger, Publix, for the most part, Meyer, all these health, all these stores, most of them, Wegmans, you know, they're gonna have these herbal teas that are gonna help with things like gas and bloating. And, and, and again, that's just gonna help digestion or just get a digestive blend tea that's gonna be great. Okay, as you're wanting to balance your hormones and improve your energy, here's a few other things you can do. Take adaptogenic herbs, astragalus. This time of year, astragalus is probably the number one herb you can take to support immunity and digestion. It's an, adap it's an adaptogen for your digestive system, okay? And, and your immune system, astragalus. You can pick up astragalus that health food stores all over the country. You can buy it online. There's a great brand called Wild Harvest. In fact, a lot of, uh, you know, um, th there's another, uh, anyways, there's some great supplement companies that put astragalus in their products as well. But again, that's number one. Astragalus is probably the number one adaptogenic herb you could take this time of year. Uh, I highly encourage you to do that. By the way, if you're a person saying, you know what, I want, I'm ready to get healthy now, but also starting in January, I wanna encourage you, get my new book. I'm telling you, it will help you experience a health breakthrough. This is my follow-up book to Keto Diet. It's called the Keto Diet Cookbook. This has all of my healthy recipes in it that we were talking about. And so I'm gonna show you some of these in here as well. We actually have keto crackers. We have um, cheesecake bombs, these cheesecake balls. They're so good. We have, uh, we have um, chocolate almond butter cups. Coconut chocolate bars, how good do these look? These are all part of the book. Keto brownies. You guys see this? Keto brownies right here? This is in the book, we're using coconut flour, almond flour, all these healthy ingredients. So if you're saying, I wanna get healthy now and over the holidays, this is the way to do it uh, with this cookbook. Yeah, keto cheesecake. Here's a great one we did for breakfast, you could do for breakfast, keto coffee cake. I, my mom used to always make coffee cake growing up. Anyone else here uh, eat coffee cake? Oh, I grew up in the Midwest. You know, coffee cakes are kind of what you do in the Midwest. And um, man, that one's good. Here's another favorite. Chelsea's favorite in this book. Keto chocolate chip cookies. That's right, keto chocolate chip cookies. Man, these are good. Keto chocolate frosting, if it's your, you know, Birthday, that's in here as well. We have all of these. And by the way, I love the beginning of this book too. We go through um, <coughs> the top keto, keto supplements. We go through, we actually, I, I show you my, my keto food pyramid is actually in this book. All these graphics, full color, it's a full color cookbook, your keto diet, available in two days. Go online right now and order it on barnesandnoble.com or amazon.com or go to your local bookstore this weekend, 125 plus keto recipes, full color, everything in this book. Make sure to check it out. Also, last thing, make sure to sign up for my what's called my street team. So one of the things I've done is I have set up to where you can, um, uh, you can get a bunch of free stuff from me. I recorded a whole video series of me cooking in my kitchen here in Nashville, going through how to make a keto smoothie. 
going through a keto breakfast, keto desserts, keto lunch, all these stuff. I, I show you my pantry, I show you my refrigerator, get into everything. And I go through my healthy shopping list, food guide, menu plan, the whole thing. You can get that if you sign up for the street team. So simply click on the link below right now. It says Dr. Act Street Team or Dr. Act, I call it my mission team. These are people that are on mission with me. And I'm gonna give you a bunch of free stuff, bunch of free resources, guides, videos. You'll get it all back for free. Uh, if you uh, click on the link below, um, you'll get all those free videos. And all you have to do is, hey, simply buy the keto cookbook leave a review, we're gonna send you all that stuff for free. So anyways, also, hey, if you're on mission with me and you believe food is medicine and people need to know the truth, do me a favor, punch the share button, click the love button, help me spread the word, food is medicine. And you know what else, fat is medicine. We gotta get rid of these excess carbs. If you agree with me, give me a thumbs up or a high five. People are consuming way too many carbs and people think fat is bad still. No, fat is healing. You know, 25% of your brain and nervous system are made up of fat and cholesterol. If you don't get them, your brain suffers, your nervous system, your organs suffer, your cells are all made up of fat. We've gotta be getting these in our diet. So I wanna say happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, happy Christmas, everything else. And I pray you guys have a blessed week and holiday safe travels. And I hope you enjoy the book. Once you get the book, jump on my Facebook page and Instagram page and let me know how you like it. I think it's gonna impact and transform your life. Thanks.